So my name is Justin, this is Angelin. We're going to talk about, so we are trainers of, of Jumpstart. I'm going to talk about the Jumpstart program and the curriculum and what we do basically in Jumpstart. Um, once those guys are ready, then we will start proper. <coughs> okay. And then I have to remember to do this. Shall um, I hold it for you? Yeah. So the Jumpstarters, when you use this thing, if you need to type, then you need to sort of like clip it on and then type. Yeah? Otherwise the video doesn't capture your voice. Okay. <coughs> Not okay. Not okay. Soon. Technical difficulties. As usual. <coughs> when, when, when in doubt, restart. Uh, okay, okay. We're, we're okay. Oh, we're, we're good. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Okay. So let me see. Um, okay. As in, should I continue or no? Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's talk about Jumpstart in a nutshell. So Jumpstart is a program, it's a 12-week program. Um, the target audience for the, for the Jumpstart um, program is fresh grads, uh, career switchers, and even junior developers trying to level up their skills. So that's our target audience. And in Jumpstart, we believe heavily in um, hands-on learning. So throughout the 12 weeks, you, have, you build a lot of different projects as you're learning different technologies. And they include front-end, back-end, uh, web applications, as well as uh, you work in a group or, or you work in a team to build a full-stack web application. Right? That's the nutshell. So in the curriculum-wise, um, big overview. On the front end, you have React. On the back end, you have Node and Express. Uh, you've got your databases as well, like MongoDB and Postgres. So that's, a, that's an overview. And a bit more in detail. So you've got your fundamentals, um, such as Git, like version control. On the front end, uh, I said React. And then if you, you have a basic HTML, CSS. On the back end, uh, we, we look at databases and how to build RESTful APIs. Uh, and then we also talk about application security. Um, and then we have software engineering practices like test-driven development, uh, refactoring, clean code, that sort of thing. Uh, agile practices, so we look at continuous integration, test automation, <coughs> pair programming, that sort of thing. And of course, along the way, you also have soft skills like communication, presenting, like how these guys, uh, the, the, the Jumpstart trainees will also come in and talk about their technical talks. Right, so this is what you cover, right? Yep. So Angeline will now talk about um, what we learn in, at Jumpstart. Hi everyone, I'm Angeline, and uh, I'm going to talk a bit of what we do day to day in Jumpstart so that you can understand a bit more uh, of what we conduct in class. Okay. So the first activity is that we will have daily classroom sessions which will cover the theory as well as hands-on lab for students to practice uh, on what we have taught them. Because okay. uh, for coding, hands-on is very important. And uh, in this course, we will build, or rather the students will build and showcase two individual projects as well as one main group project where they will learn Agile collaboration. Students will learn by sharing, by uh, doing the labs and then presenting their answers to the class. They will also learn by helping each other because this is a culture that we promote in Jumpstart. We also have frequent feedback sessions where students can give feedback to each other and help them to identify uh, areas to improve on. And Jumpstart is not just all work and no play. Uh, as you can see from the photo, uh, photo proof that uh, students do uh, make use of the ping pong table that's in the office and they also sometimes have a board games night where they just socialize with each other. In Jumpstart, we also invite guest speakers. Guest speakers could be uh, from the industry or they could be internally from ThoughtWorks to talk about various topics like security uh, as well as like UX design. And right at the end of the course, we also provide career advice as well as mock interview trainings so that candidates are well prepared before they start their job hunt. 
So next, I would like to cover about how Jumpstart is different from other programming boot camps that you may see uh, in Singapore. So uh, one of our main uh, focus and selling point is that we fully support pair programming as well as test-driven development, which are software best practices where students uh, will learn throughout the course. Next. We will also teach the exact same Agile process which we use in uh, projects in ThoughtWorks. And uh, we will teach this process to the students so that uh, they'll be able to have Agile experience. And lastly, while in the three-week group project right at the end, trainers will uh, work together with students in an Agile team building a project. So uh, at this point, we also provide mentorship to the students. OK, next we'll have Justin to talk about the admin details. Cool, so on to the more boring stuff. Um, let's look at this. So the upcoming batch, the next batch will be uh, 21st May. Uh, it's fully subscribed, so if you're interested in uh, enrolling, you'll have to wait for the September batch. Um, application is open. Uh, it'll start either late August or early September applications on that link over there. Okay, so let's talk more about uh, the course fees. So we have this thing called TIPP grant, which we'll talk more about uh, in a minute. So if you're a Singaporean and if you're eligible for this grant, you pay $1,000 plus 7% GST. Um, and if you are not eligible for the grant and if you're a Singaporean or PR, you pay $8,000. Um, and then for everyone else outside of that category, it's 16000 um, all of it is subject to IMDAs and ThoughtWorks uh, approval, of course. Um, for the last one, for the last segment here, uh, ThoughtWorks may also provide uh, a subsidy to candidates who demonstrate um, high potential. So that's uh, something to note. So it's not necessarily that you, you will have to pay uh, the 16000 Okay, so TIPP grant. So what does that stand for? That's just an acronym. It stands for Tech Immersion and Placement Program. Um, Essentially, it's, it's a government grant focused on upskilling um, citizens, right, to meet the increasing demand for software developers. It's, uh, it's, I, I guess it's part of the uh, uh, smart nation drive, right? Uh, so it's open to Singapore uh, citizens, and it's, it's uh, handled by IM, IMDA, so they are the ones who are the approving body. Uh, trainees after the program, they're expected to work in a tech role, um, within six months uh, of completion of the program, right? So that's, that's the criteria for them if they do uh, intend to ac accept the TIPP grant. Right, so who should apply for Jumpstart? So our ideal uh, candidate uh, is someone who has a passion for technology and software development, so you need to have that sort of passion in the first place. Um, ideally, you should have learned some HTML, some CSS, some basic programming. It doesn't have to be JavaScript. We, we teach JavaScript in the program, uh, but it doesn't have to be JavaScript. So if, as long as you know some basic uh, uh, programming basics like, like for loops and if-else if statements, things like that. So that's our ideal uh, uh, candidate. So let's say you're interested to join. What's the process like? So the process looks like this. You submit an application at the URL that you see. Uh, we give you a phone call and there's a phone interview. Um, after that, uh, we have a three-hour online coding challenge. So that's, it's, it's, it's a test online. After you complete that test, we look at the grades and then we, we look at the, the application itself. We look at each and every uh, applicant and we review that with IMDA, we review that with ThoughtWorks. Uh, and then we, we offer uh, uh, and, and, and you can then sign an enrollment uh, agreement. Right? So that's the process. That's that. That is Jumpstart in a nutshell. Cool. So we are done. We'll stop the recording. Okay. So um, oh, yeah, yeah. for that's anyone right. who's interested to join Jumpstart in the next next batch, please do look for me, Angeline or Justin, later mm -hmm. in the networking after the talks. Yep. Okay. So okay, now come the moment we, we have been waiting for, which is the interesting part of it. Uh, can you put your hands together to welcome Nicole and Sabrina, which will give a tech talk on testing with mocks in Jess. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so this one's the mic, so you need to hold on to this, unfortunately. 